Hello all, I'll explain problem F. Now, what does the problem say? Well, you are given uh, an array and you are given the size of the array and you are also given a value known as D. What you have to do is, suppose uh, you are given this array. This array. In each iteration, you pick the ith element and you and it with the i plus uh, dth element. So, the, the 0th element in the array will be replaced by 0 and 1, that is 0. Now, the second element is anded with this, so it will be 0. The third element is anded with this 0 which is two steps ahead of it, if d is 2, so this is 0. This one is ended with this one, so this is 1. Similarly, this 0, if there is a 0, then it will, if it is ended with a 0 or 1, the result will be a 0. Uh, next, this one is ended with this one, so we get a 1 here, we get a 0 here. This one is uh, ended with uh, cyclically the, this 0. So we get zero and similar. Now in the next iteration, again, uh, if you talk about this, this one, this one will be ended with this one. See, zeros will be zeros, obviously. Uh, one will be ended with this one, so it will be one. But this one on the other hand, at this index, will be ended with, will be replaced by the and of uh, this one and zero. So it would be zero at this position. And in the final iteration, you get all zeros. So you have to repeat this procedure of ending a of i with a of i plus d and replacing this with ai. So ai will be replaced by ai and ai plus d in a new array. And you have to find the number of iterations after which this situation is achieved. Okay. Now, I will first try to solve a simpler version and I mean it's important to solve that version. The problem can just be decomposed in it. So the simpler version is something like this. Suppose I am given a, a ring, okay? I am given a ring of elements, uh, sequential elements. So after this element comes this one, then after this one comes this zero, uh, this uh, zero comes this one. You can also imagine it as a array, one, one. 0, 1, 0, 0. And uh, like I have taken this as the first index of the array, you can take any other one. So suppose that you have a ring like this, okay. What I'm doing is every in every iteration in this ring, every node is replaced by the and of itself and the node before it. So let's talk about, for example, this one, this one only. So what will happen is this one will be replaced by the and of this and this. So we get something like we get this one. This one. So this one is transformed to this one because the and of one and one is one. Similarly, if, if we talk about this one, this one is replaced by the and of this one and the previous element which is a zero. So it 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 maps to zero. This zero is again mapped to zero. Uh, this zero here. This one is uh, replaced by the and of one and the element before it was zero. So it is replaced by. So we get this new ring. Okay. In and we will repeat this iteration until we get all of the elements as um, zero. So now at the second iteration, what will happen is only only this one is remaining, right? And this one will be replaced by what? The itself and the and of, basically the and of this and the value before it. So it would be zero. So after three iterations, we are getting all the elements in the cycle as zero. So um, now the general case is how do we basically find how many iterations do we require in such a ring like structure to get all the elements as zero? Uh, and we cannot do the iterations one by one. So we cannot simulate the process. So how, how do we do it? So I have to take a, take a big example. Suppose 
uh, you know this is the ring okay i have not drawn the arrows but this element is connected to this one this is connected to this one and so on. see this what what does this array contain it contains this ring this ring contains only zeros and ones if i look at these regions or the regions of what do we have to make zero basically we have to convert all ones to zeros right after ending or ending with the value before them so i will what is of interest to me these ones are of interest to me so i look at these consecutive ones okay and my claim is that the longest length of this uh, consecutive one sequence will be the number of steps required so in this case after four iterations since the length is four here i would get all elements as zero now why does this work the thing to notice here is a particular zero will make its next one as zero in the next iteration so in the next iteration these two elements will be added and this one would become zero however these two elements are still one what will happen in the iteration after that this one will propagate to here and this will also become a zero so in the next iteration again this will be so after three iterations all of these three zeros three three ones will become zeros similarly after two iterations uh, in the first iteration these two elements will be added and this one will be converted to zero in the next iteration these two will be added and this one will be converted to zero so i hope you understand why i'm talking about the length of the uh, sequence of ones so that is all we have to do in the given question we are given an array okay i will decompose that array into chains like these into chains like these then i will find the answer to like for this chain i will find the maximum length of ones for this chain i will find the maximum length of ones and uh, my answer will be the max of them all now how do we make the chains that is also very simple suppose this is the array having 12 elements and d is given to be as 2 what to do is see what will happen in the first iteration is that this element is related to this element like uh, this 2 will be replaced by adding the 0th element in the 2th element similarly this fourth element is related to the second element the sixth is related to the fourth and so on by a difference of 2 <coughs> this 10 is since it's a cyclic shift so it is it is related to this zero so we get something like a cycle and in the first iteration let's look at the elements 0 2 4 6 8 and 10 so in the first iteration what will happen is um so it it it's 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 like that ring structure only so the zero is connected to 2 the 2 is connected to 4 4 is connected to 6 6 to 8 and 8 to 10 and 10 is connected to 0 so in the first iteration uh, if there is a zero anywhere it would be propagated to the next element then that zero would be propagated to the next one so uh, this is how we can uh, basically form the chains we will go to each element if that then i will maintain a map of visited right a map of visited now if the ith element is already visited then it's okay otherwise i will start a new chain and for example initially zero has not been visited right so i will start a new chain from zero and i will keep going two steps ahead two step ahead until i come back to zero or until i come back to an element which has already been visited but uh, i think it would always be that we would come back to zero itself or the element we started with so we will go through all of them and once we have reached the element we started it started with we will uh, put all these index indices in a uh, 2d vector so this would be the chain 1 chain 2 would be i guess 1 3 5 7 8 9 
9. And then we would analyze all of these chains. For example, if this first chain, if this first chain has uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and if you have got something like this, uh, initially, initially the bits, initially the bits are like uh, this. So, um, uh, basically we have to find the longest uh, sequence of consecutive ones cyclically. So, one thing you have to keep in mind is, this, basically we can get four ones here. So, you have to take this special case that if I start here and I cyclically go uh, to the start and if I if I still encounter ones then I uh, basically I'll have to add them so that can give me the maximum answer in this case it would be 4 if the array uh, had something like let's say if this was a 0 right then the answer would have been 2 for this chain one last thing to keep in mind is they have said in the problem that they want all the elements in the array to become zero so if there is a particular chain where all the elements in the chain are one then no matter what you do after each and of, since there is no zero right so zero will never be propagated since there is no zero so in this case you have to print minus one so if you ever encounter a chain like this you have to print minus one so that is the solution i will show my code now so uh, i am inputting the values of n and d i am reading the array initial array then I am making a uh, 2D vector of chains and uh, the procedure is simple if I go to an ith element and the ith element is not visited then I will create a temporarily temporary chain and uh, I will push the I ith element to the chain then I will put push the i plus dth element to the chain and I will keep putting un until I basically get back to the ith element and finally this chain will be pushed to the 2d uh, vector <coughs> this step is basically an analysis of each chain which is it's simple the thing is that i'll iterate over every chain and i told you about that check where all elements if they are one then i have to print minus one so basically this is the check for that so if i encounter a one then i'll set set the one boolean to true if i encounter a zero i'll set the zero boolean to true and what's the edge case that if i encounter ones but i don't encounter any zero then i i have to basically print minus one so if can is false i print minus one here i'm setting the can is false otherwise it's a simple analysis basically you have this array and you have to find the sequence of longest consecutive ones so uh, this uh, takes care of that you know i told you about that example where example like this where you have to go to the start again so what i do i iterate from here and i iterate from here See, since i get two two ones here and two ones here i add them so that's one way to handle it and finally i print the answer so that's all for this video thank you for watching bye